it's also not super oily anymore 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 <laughs> anymore either but then doesn't make my hair feel disgusting which is probably always the goal <laughs> hey guys welcome back so i've got my october favorites here for you today and i'm going to quickly run through my overall friday favorites because that was really hard for me to narrow down this time. And then I have some body care, hair care, skin care, some randoms, and a couple of fashion favorites to show you. So lots to talk about, so let's jump into it. Okay, so like I said, it was really difficult to narrow down my overall Friday favorites. So just kind of take this with a grain of salt and know that pretty much I loved everything. Obviously that's why they were in my Friday favorites. So these maybe went out a little bit more than the other things, but Really, I could have picked any of the things from my Friday favorites because they were all like super standout favorites. Anyway, for eyes, I really love this little um, free gift that I got in um, a little like Macy's free gift set. I love this little palette. It is so cute. I love the outside packaging. Really nice quality of the eyeshadows inside. This is Clinique. I didn't say this. And... This one just says all about eyeshadow quad. I picked the one with the red lipstick, so that's that little quad. Love it. And then I really love my Too Faced Le Petit Maison palette. Love this so much. I show it in my Friday favorites and blah, blah, blah. But I just really, really enjoy it. Really nice quality. So both of those are standouts. For blush, love my Sephora Ombre Obsession face palette. Like this, like, just has so many blushes in here. I mean, it is like blush heaven i mean so many options really nice quality so i love that and then i've really been enjoying these little Too Faced blushes these are from the melted kisses and sweet cheeks set but they are the love flush long lasting 16 hour blushes this one's justify my love and this one is love hangover i just think that they're great quality such good blushes and this little set is a really nice way of trying multiple colors along with the Melteds, which I love those too. For lips, I'm gonna have to go with Kat Von D's Magic, which is just a really pretty kind of everyday mauve pink with some little silver micro shimmer in it. Love this. I feel like it's just kind of a unique, fun, different, surprise kind of a pink lipstick. You know what I mean? Like where it looks like a regular pink, but then that little micro shimmer just kind of catches the light gives it a little bit of like a duochrome or something fun and special. So love that one. And then I loved this lip combo. I'm just wearing this one today, but I did wear it with this on top of it also and loved that. This is the, the Balm Meat Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Charming. Just a really fun like 90s brownie nude sort of color. And then this is Sonia Kashuk Grand Bazaar Crushed Petal Matte Lipstick. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I swatch all these things in Friday Favorites. If you wanna see swatches, go check those out. And then this kind of snuck in at the end of the month, but I absolutely love it. This is the Ofra Highlighter in You Glow Girl. This is the one that they did in collaboration with Do Fat. I'm wearing this on my cheekbones today, and oh my gosh, I just like, I love it. Like the texture of it is so amazing. It's just a really pretty kind of like pinky champagne sort of a highlight color, love, love. Again, I swatched this in Friday Favorites. Okay, now for some makeup -y favorites that I did not mention in Friday Favorites. First off, this is Chanel. I just feel like so fancy even talking about it. I'm so excited about this. The Soleil Tan de Chanel. Oh my gosh, I have wanted this literally for at least two years because I remember almost buying it. They were sold out, otherwise I would have when we went to Vegas. Like. 2013, I think that was. So, long time ago. I've wanted this for a long time. Ashley passed this on to me. She now has a new favorite bronzer. So, when I saw it, I was like, what? No, you wanna keep this, right? And she was like, no, I have a new favorite bronzer. So, God bless her because I love this. It is just, I don't know like a really nice cream bronzer. It's very warm toned. So what I like to do, I didn't do that today, but um, normally what I like to do is mix it. Like I'll put this on first and then I'll usually do um, a more cool tone bronzer on top of it. So like Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer or Benefit Hula or something like that where 
it kind of like brings it to a little bit more of a neutral tone, but this just really helps it stay throughout the day. You know what I mean? So I really love this. I just feel fancy having it. I'm so excited about it. And it kind of smells, because I'm a weirdo and I smell all my makeup, it kind of smells like the Sonia Kashuk cream bronzer, which I've mentioned that before that I've noticed the scent on that. Kind of like a cucumbery smell, but it's really, really subtle. Probably only weirdos like me that smell all their makeup would know that. Do you smell your makeup? Let me know. <laughs> and then I broke out my NYX HD concealer this month. I wear it in CW03. I love this concealer. I keep this in my freelance kit in multiple shades because it's a really good do-it-all kind of concealer. It has a really nice, I don't know, it's not like super moussey, but it reminds me a lot of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer where it just blends so nicely into the skin and it's not super heavy, but then it has really good coverage. So it works really well for under eye circles, but also concealing blemishes, um, you know, doing a really nice um, sharp line around your lip line. If you have like a dramatic lip color or a red lip or something, it's just a do it all concealer that works so well. And it's really inexpensive, like $5. And that's like regular price. So you can get it on sale, use coupons. It's just good. A couple of skincare favorites that I've been using in the mornings and really liking. First off is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Pure Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 40. So it's getting to the time of year, it's scratched through because I got it in gratis. Um, it's getting to the time of year where my skin isn't super parched, which my skin never really gets to that point, but it does get drier in the winter. So it's not totally to that point yet, but it's also not super oily anymore, 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 <laughs> anymore either, anymore either. So I feel like this one is a good kind of in-between compromise where it's still very hydrating, but it's not making my skin greasy. It just, you know, makes it feel moisturized and good. And it blends nicely into the skin. You know, it doesn't break me out or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's like a thick moisturizer, but... It just works really well. And First Aid Beauty has really nice gentle ingredients, so it's good for, you know, more sensitive skin, which my skin can tend to be sensitive and it's more acne prone than it is sensitive. And First Aid Beauty works really well for me. I don't find any problems with anything I've tried from them. Um, yeah, but this is really just a good moisturizer and it's nice that it has SPF 40 in it. That's just an added bonus. And then I've been using my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. This is the Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. So this is perfect for using in the morning. First off, it doesn't even look like I've made a dent in this because I've literally just been taking a little bit of product from the lid because it takes so little and it just blends onto your under eyes so well that you just don't need a lot. It just a little bit goes a long way is what I'm trying to say in the most long drawn out way ever. <laughs> but it just does a good job of doing what it says, that it deep puffs, that it does brighten the under eyes. And it, because it has that little bit of like a pinky sheen to it or something. So when you put this on your under eyes, it really does help to brighten and I think it does help deep puff. So I love Origins. It's one of my go-to skincare lines, and this is just a great under eye moisturizer. And I don't find that it makes my makeup on top of it weird. You know what I mean? Sometimes like skincare products can then make your makeup go weird. This doesn't make my makeup go weird. <laughs> so I just have one standout hair care favorite this month, and it is the Clorane Extra Gentle Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. So I got this in one of my subscription services, so that's why it's the cute little tiny size. Um, but my number one dry shampoo is still the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. That's my go-to favorite of life. Love it so much. But I do still like to use a regular dry shampoo to get like the back part of my hair because that's a powder. So it's kind of, it's just hard to get it up in this area. So I like to use a spray to get that area. So I've been using this one, this Chlorine. And I really do like it because it seems to soak up the oil really well without making the texture of my hair 
weird. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of like the balance with dry shampoos is that sometimes they might do a good job of soaking up the oil, but then they make the texture of your hair so gross. And this doesn't do that. It really just soaks up the oils, helps with a little bit of volume, but then doesn't make my hair feel disgusting, which is probably always the goal. <laughs> then just one standout body care favorite this month. I've been using my Bath & Body Works Pink Chiffon Triple Moisture Body Cream a lot. This just smells good. Like that's why it's a favorite is I just think it smells yummy. I mean, it does moisturize well, but the scent is so good. It's more of a spring summertime smell. So it's not really like a fall winter sort of a scent, but I still really like it. Um, what does it say about it? it? says this whimsical scent is a delicate blend of sparkling red pear, jasmine petals and tiara flower whisked with vanilla orchid and chiffon musk. So yeah, it is, it's kind of like that perfect blend between fruity, floral, and vanilla. Cause I'm not a super floral fan. Like if it's too floral, it'll give me a headache. This one's more like, I don't know, candy sort of a scent, something sort of like that. Um, but yeah, just a little fruity, a little floral, a little vanilla, and just good. And then a couple of random favorites. So I am not a huge candle burner. Like, I do burn them, but not all day, every day, and I don't buy a ton of candles. Like, I buy some, but usually like two at a time, maybe two to four a year, because the, it just takes me so long to burn through them. So, anyway, I bought both of these candles, and I'm actually doing really well burning through them. Like, this is impressive for me, and I love them both. They are so yummy. These are both Bath & Body Works. This one is Pumpkin Pie. And this one is Pumpkin Spiced Cheesecake. This one's my favorite of the two, but I do like them both. So Pumpkin Pie, it says, save room for this delicious autumnal blend of creamy pumpkin, whipped vanilla, and flaky pie crust that's as sweet as your favorite pumpkin pie. Yes. I smell a lot of the crust in it. Like, it really does smell like a pumpkin pie, but it smells like the crust of the pie too. Like I really smell that a lot. It is so yummy. This one burns pretty quickly. Like it seems like when I light it, it burns down fairly quickly. Um, so I don't know what that means, but just a little side note, I know nothing about candles <laughs> and like how they burn. I'm, I'm definitely not an expert on this. This one, the cheesecake one says, um, decadent velvety cheesecake transforms your favorite fall treat into a something even more special into a something even more special, into a something, fall treat into a something, that doesn't make sense, even more special in notes of spiced pumpkin, fresh cream, and a golden crust. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy. If you love the smell of cheesecake, you need this. It is so good. Oh my gosh, and it's not, like it's not overly sweet because it's more on the cheesecake kind of side. So I don't know, it smells a little different somehow, but it is so yummy. It just, yeah, it just makes your room smell so good and like fall. And I have burned them at the same time and they burn really well together. They make like a really nice scent. And it just like makes your home feel homey and like fall. And then really quickly, a few fashion favorites. So first off, I love my new Lelena cuff. I got this one at a craft fair that I went to recently with Ashley. I just love it. I try to get one every year. I try to get a different cuff every year. And this one might be one of my very favorites, if not my very favorite that I've gotten from them. I just love the like funky combination of like a little bit of green, a little bit of red, a little bit of metallic. So it's kind of in between earthy and rocker, which I really do like. And then I got this one at a local um, boutique recently. Love this. So it's like, you know, I don't know, just a really cool cowgirl Texan looking kind of a cuff. I love it. So fun with the studs and the turquoise on it. And then I have been wearing the heck out of these jeggings from American Eagle. Ashley and I have the same exact pair and we both love them to death. They're these kind of like really cool, I don't know, charcoal gray black jeggings and they're like riffy down the front. They're just really fun and rocker looking. 
and they're really nice in that they seem to hold their shape really well as you wear them, but they're not uncomfortable. So they're really stretchy and soft feeling, but then they don't bag out. So that's kind of like a delicate balance to find with jeggings where they're comfortable, they hold their shape, but then they're not uncomfortably tight or anything. So these are a really good balance between everything you're looking for probably in a jegging. So yeah, I'll try to find these online and link them for you, but they just say American Eagle Outfitters Super Super Stretch Jegging. So yeah, love them. All right guys, those are all my October favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving in October. So either your skincare, hair care, body care, beauty, randoms, fashion, whatever. I just love hearing your favorites too. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.